Hi, and welcome back to The Natural House. While the Kelly Woodford family house enjoys a timeless view of Mount Hood, Ron Hayes and Christy Carl's home in Eagle Creek, Oregon, shares a different sense of time and place. The Hayes Carl family homestead is a 2,000 square foot timber frame bungalow that incorporates a full range of new ideas and natural materials to define its deep green building values. The home's concept was initially shaped by concerns tied to the use of toxic materials. One of the reasons that I wanted to create a non-toxic environment was because Christy had had cancer just prior to our building. We wanted to build a house as toxin-free as possible because we didn't want to put any more environmental stress on our body. The centuries-old building style is an earthen wall timber frame technique. Timber frame has traditionally been the form of structure that was used throughout Europe, in Japan, in China for thousands of years. Building with a timber frame is looking backwards in order to move forwards for a more sustainable building. The distinctively rich timbers are fitted together by hand-cut mortise and tenon joints and held tight by wood pegs. This house rekindled my interest in building homes that were alive for people. Having built homes for years, I've seen that you can walk into a beautiful home that doesn't have a soul. You don't feel uplifted. You don't feel alive. It's not part of the landscape. I think a home needs to be comfortable where people can move around in it so that they come in contact with each other in, in really nice ways. A home needs to meet each person's individual desires for what feels comforting to them. A large part of that for me is nature and the spirituality part. That's such a deep core part of me that it has to be reflected in my life for my house to be nurturing to me. The deep brown natural mud and gold straw flecked entry opens onto a serene welcoming alcove. The earthen clay plasters covering the walls are built on a base coat of clay harvested from a nearby hillside. What you see in the entry is the base layer of the plaster that's underneath all the walls in the house. To guard against outgassing, ceilings, walls, and other painted areas are finished with toxin-free paints. The natural clay has a completely different ability to affect the indoor air quality. Walls made of sheetrock and latex paint act as a barrier. These walls are completely different. These are beautiful natural walls, but what you don't see underneath them is, well, to put it simply, dirt. Layers of straw and clay form the thermal mass behind the walls. Together with the mud plaster finish, this forms the breathable or living wall system. Breathable walls are allowing the indoor air to migrate on a molecular level to the exterior. We call this the truth window. It reveals the inner structure of the house. The first layer is the clay and straw. The second layer is the native clay. The third layer is pottery clay. Over that, there's clay plaster mixed with pigments that give it natural color. The house is designed around a central light core capped by two skylights and a fan that provides a naturally circulating updraft. Radiant heat rises from the concrete slab floor. To soften the earth advantage of concrete, wool rugs and soft cork flooring in the kitchen provide foot-friendly comfort. My favorite place in the house is the meditation room. And for some reason, it has the best energy in it, the best feeling in it. It feels very peaceful. Everybody who's opened the door goes, oh. It's a sacred space. And sometimes I think it's the windows. Sometimes I think it's because of the intention we put into it. It has Ron's spiritual work, his shamanic work. It has my spiritual work with you know my healing and my meditation work. 
most interior wood has been reclaimed for use as door, window, and baseboard trim. With my trim, I'm taking something that's taken nature 300, maybe 500 years to grow, and I'm giving it an opportunity to live another two or maybe 300 years in my house. Outside, the low-slung concrete tiled roof with an expected lifetime of 50 years flows naturally into locally harvested cedar wall siding. Upstairs, the overlook passage serves as an office, and the scaffolding used during construction has become the office desk. The master bedroom features blue tinted plaster walls and a balcony view of woods and a running stream. The adjacent master bath centers on a large soaking tub. Clay plaster walls and stone tile are both attractive, toxin-free alternatives to gas-emitting synthetic bathroom products. When moist, natural clay bathroom walls exude a deep, earthy fragrance, and when wet, they fully absorb moisture within minutes. Our house demonstrates that you can use traditional and natural materials and still create a house that feels comfortable and looks conventional. In the healing of my cancer, part of the process was learning about connecting with nature spirits. It's not like I see fairies, but I have a sense of these entities that everything does have a spiritual essence. The plants do, the land does, the, you know, the wood does, everything does. So it was a process of going inside and calling them in, calling in the deva of the land, calling in the deva of our family, calling in the deva of the house, and asking them what it was that we were supposed to build. And so oftentimes we'd get to a place and Ron would say, what do you think? And I'd say, I don't know. I don't, I don't think these things. I have to go inside and ask because it's not like my personal preference. It's what, what's to be done here, what's right? Because I have a very small, narrow vision of what would be right for me, but this is, a, this is bigger, life's bigger than just me.